Hi, welcome to Super User TV. Edgar, can you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell me about your role in the community and at Workday? Thank you, Alison. My name is Edgar Magana. I'm the Cloud Operations Architect at Workday. I've been um, uh, part of the community since 2011. I feel an old timer. <laughs> um, recently become part of the user committee. Very happy about that. In the past, I used to be a core developer for the Newton project. Awesome. Can you tell me a little bit about how long Workday has been using OpenStack and how it's transformed y'all's business? Absolutely. So actually, we started our journey with OpenStack 2013. One, uh, one of my fellows uh, was actually presented in the keynote of the Hong Kong Summit. So we have a very good roadmap. We started at that time, and it's been a very amazing journey. A lot of learning, a lot of uh, bumps into the wire a little bit, but we learned a lot. Awesome, and what has your team done in contributions back to the community since you started using OpenStack? Well, we focus mostly on operations, right? So we are a chef-based deployment, so we are very active in the chef community, uh, updating the cookbooks. Uh, Wordig is very unique on the security requirements. You can't imagine how many things we actually put there to secure our cloud. Therefore, we actually contribute upstream on uh, a lot of security gaps that we found in the cookbooks. We also have recently commits on the keystone part for scalability. One of the key things at Wordy is we're testing at a scale. The smaller cluster that we have is 60 or 70 compute nodes. Awesome, and at what scale are you working with OpenStack at Workday? That's a very interesting question. Um, it depends how you want to measure the scalability. In total, we have over 650 uh, physical servers that are going to be running by the end of the year OpenStack somewhere, right? Uh, but actually, uh, we run in different availability zones and different uh, data centers across the world. We have uh, a team working in Ireland, a team working in Pleasanton with our headquarters are. Uh, we're working together to actually deploy uh, automatically, dynamically, all these clusters. Wow, and so for um, a deployment that size, how big is your team? So it's, uh, again, even inside of a company, it should be collaboration. So what did we have collaboration across three different teams? First of all, the infrastructure team, right? The guys who make sure that their data center is working, racking the system, connectivity, maintenance, etc. That's the first team. The second team is cloud engineering team. The guys who are actually behind of deploying, testing, automating, the whole thing. And the third team is actually the operations team at Wordy, who help us to actually use the best practices that Wordy has developed across the last uh, 11, 12 years uh, to have 100% uh, um, availability of our services in the data center. Awesome, and I know that you are a Super User Awards finalist here at the Austin Summit. Um, what's next for Workday and OpenStack? Well, let me say that I'm super happy. It's uh, one of the major achievements. Be uh, as a finalist with AT&T, with uh, all the other uh, contributors like DreamCost, it's been amazing. So we are very proud of the team. We are very proud of what we have achieved. So what is next for us? So we want to increase our data centers. We're going to change our architecture a little bit. Uh, it's funny that you ask that because in, in a little bit I will be presenting about our uh, high availability architecture and the changes that we're going to present. And obviously, keep going as uh, the new versions of OpenStack, so uptaking Liberty, uptaking Mitaka, and uh, providing feedback to the community, again, in the same areas, so scalability, uh, security, and trying to get even more visibility and trying to evangelize across other SaaS providers what we have done. Awesome, thank you. Thank you.